Hey guys, welcome back. We're in Edison, New Jersey, visiting MRC, Model Rectifier Corporation. I'm here with Adam Tager, Director of Product Development, and he's going to go over a lot of different DCC functions, lighting, different things they're doing here at MRC. So Adam, you want to talk about some cool products you guys have coming out? Sure, sure. Uh, we are introducing LightAll. Uh, it's a lighting effect DCC decoder. Uh, it'll be $44.98 retail. Um, so what you're going to get here is a full functioning lighting accessory decoder with five zones of individual control. Um, you'll have 12 outputs total on this. Uh, 20 different lighting effects can be applied to each zone. Uh, and with that, we have variable intensity lighting. So you can actually change a flash rate. Um, so not just brightness and dimming, uh, like some of the competition has, but we can actually change the, how fast something flashes. Uh, so that works well for crossing signals or if you're doing anything really cool like uh, uh, if you want to get a flicker or fire effect lighting, we have that. Um, so we have this nice little layout here with a lot of different lighting effects or, or lighting scenes. And uh, we're going to show you uh, DCC operation through our Prodigy Advanced. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll dim the lights here to, to kind of see a better, better scene of it. Um, so it's uh, maybe you want to shut the door. That's yeah, okay. So. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at. Uh, let's try to find something on the layout that we can look at. So if we're here at the house B. right now. So right now, three um, A is the house. You can see just by using the functions on your advanced uh, handheld here, you can turn it on and off. Um, if we wanted to change some of the lighting effects, um, let me see if we have actually the railroad right near here. You see a traffic signal. Um, and it's, you got them actually going northwest, east, uh, north, south, east, west. And they actually are functioning in a capacity where that when it's on green, this will be on red, and then it kind of flips as it cycles through. Um, that is a standard programming. Um, and just to kind of show you a little more here, uh, this is the board. We give you all the plugs. We give you the power plug, and it hooks up into the uh, main side of the, the track, uh, you, you know, uh, and it also draws the it can draw the power from here as well. Um, but one of the other cool, really neat features I wanted to show you was that tying into this system, um, it actually also works with our Prodigy Wi-Fi. And I actually already have it set up, but this is the app for the iPhone, um, and we have this labeled the uh, address. Uh, where is it? There it is. Group A, which is 33. So I'm going to set it to that and we'll focus back on the house. Um, and I will turn off the house. So let's see the house. There we go. Oh, something. Like, there we go. There's the house. So you see it going on and off. Um, one of the really cool things about the app, switching gears here a little bit, is that we can actually name our functions. You have your phone on here, right? What we saw here, this is the, this is the, um, the Y throttle on the on the Apple. So through the Prodigy Wi-Fi, um, you can actually custom function and put in rosters, and automatically it'll appear on anybody else on the network. So Doug here pulled up 33, which is the address, and you're actually already seeing Group A and Group B just like you see it on my phone. So what it's actually doing is storing the rosters and storing the names of the function labels on the device. And anybody joining you on the layout We'll automatically see that. So that's a really cool feature that we offer through our Wi-Fi, um, the Prodigy Wi-Fi, and that is exclusive to Prodigy systems from MRC. So we will bring up Coco 3, except it's actually CBQ 988. So we'll set that. And we'll turn on the sound. There we go. This is a Mantua GP20 uh, with Roco Genie. So we have a few features with that, um, but right now I'm showing off the ability to not only work with Prodigy Wi-Fi, but the throttle as well. Um, so we will do the 988, and you can actually take over with the throttle, and at the same time, use your phone. So, Really cool that we have technology to operate via your phone and via Prodigy system. Another neat feature, or just showing kind of the 
way the CVs function and how you can program these things. Uh, we're going to focus on the guardrail on the back. So we're going to program, uh, this is decoder, we've, we've labeled this decoder on light all, light all decoder at number 28. So 28 on here. Um, we're going to cycle through and go to the CV settings and through a trusty little chart here. Uh, zone 4, which is 4 being the back, is CV54, enter, and right now it's setting, it's set on data 1, we're going to change it over to 2, let's make, let's, make it, let's make it 6 and see what happens here. I actually have not memorized what 6 is, that's a gyro light actually. Uh, you know what, let's do step lighting, that, let's, do, let's make it 10. So 1, 0, enter, there you go, and you saw it just changing there stepped lighting. So you're able to set any of these lighting effects that we have here on the chart. Uh, there's 20 different ones. Um, you can also change the light rate and the brightness. Uh, these are all things that you can do through your Prodigy system or DCC system. Uh, so really cool features, really cool lighting effects can really expand what you do on your layout. Okay, so here we have actually the new uh, Model Power NFP7 for the first time with DCC and sound. It's a dual mode decoder. Uh, we're introducing some new paint schemes uh, since MRC took over. This is a U.S. Army. Um, we've also got the Santa Fe here, and in a minute I'm going to show you the Pensy. Uh, since uh, MRC took over Model Power, we've upgraded this locomotive uh, with knuckle couplers, uh, LED lighting, and improved paint schemes. Uh, you know, now we have the builder's plates, uh, a little more accuracy, and as we know, these are all metal, not just the chassis, but the body as well, giving you some really heavy weight. Um, James, if you put your arm forward, uh, really good for pulling power. The greatest thing about these, DC version is going to run you 79 bucks. Uh, DCC and sound is only going to be 159 um, And I'm sure, you know, on the marketplace, you'll find them at a better price point. Uh, that's just full list. So here we have the Pensy. Um, the five stripe. And we're going to run this here. Uh, we're actually running this on a Tech 6, uh, something that the market I wish knew more about, the industry knew more about. Um, and uh, so this is a dual mode power pack slash DCC system. And what, it, what that is, is it, by true definition, you can run DC locomotives all day on this, okay? And then you have a dual mode button, which kicks it over to DCC, and you can program, you can run about, I want to say up to six locomotives. There's actually a, an area where you can buy a handheld and plug it in, but it, it does both, and not, not all systems do that. DCC systems, by and large, are just what they are, DCC systems. But we'll run this. So that is the new FP7 with DCC and sound. Uh, these will be arriving mid-April. Uh, the first batch will be U.S. Army, Pensy, Santa Fe, and Union Pacific, followed by a few more road names. Uh, we have some Canadian National, Canadian Pacific, Sioux Line, Amtrak, um, Northern Pacific, Southern Pacific, I believe. So, or Southern, I'm sorry. So, and a few more, I'm just not recalling them at this moment, but yeah, very proud of it and uh, be here soon. Thank you. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up our visit here to MRC. Great products, thanks Adam for showing us through how you can really make your layout technologically advanced with all of the different systems working together, MRC, Prodigy Wi-Fi, the advanced squared or elite light systems, the light system and uh, obviously the apps on both Android and Apple, so appreciate it. It's a really nice technologically advanced layout, and hopefully we can do that on our home layouts. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time right here on YouTube. Take care.